So I just want to take it all in. It's an amazing group of people. Many of you have connected with me over the last four months, and I struggle to remember everyone's names, but I've been getting around, and I'm absolutely astounded at the connections that have already built across Queensland. And a lot of this started just a few years ago, uh, and I wanted to pay a special thanks to the four universities that backed uh, the report from Josh Lerner, which was University of Queensland, QUT, Bond University and Griffith, who when I called them up and said, I need $25,000 from each of you to help fund dollar for dollar a government report on where we're at in Queensland, they just said yes straight away. And that's one of the great strengths of, of our ecosystem is those universities working together and there's nothing like a quick yes or a quick no, which is also important in investing. And so from that, we ended up with a, a platform and it gave us a really good idea of where we were. And what the measuring stick told us is that we were coming last. But the beautiful thing about the startup and scale-up space is that you can turn that around very quickly. And the, the key defining seed for that report was a sense that we had at Blue Sky that there was a, a tsunami coming through of people wanting to start their own business. And maybe that was a legacy of the financial crisis or, or the, the downturn in mining that it was coming through at the time or whatever it might have been. But there was a sense that people needed to take control of their own destiny and to change their life. And that's exactly what we've seen since then. And so with that collection of people that came together on that report, suddenly we've seen a whole range of programs, obviously, which has led to Advanced Queensland and all the little small bets the government has taken there, which has definitely been a catalyst for this space. But the reality is, is this was happening naturally. And what we've done is we've given it a turbo boost. But without a home, it's very hard to connect everybody up. There are no screens for what we do. I used to be a commodity trader. And you'd look at the screen and you'd find your investment opportunities and you'd trade and do whatever you needed to do. The only way this happens is through the connections of the people in this room and their connections outside of this room. So in many respects, the precinct is the screen for the development of this space. And I'll bet you that in 10 years, everyone will look back and everybody will see the economic output and jobs growth that comes from this particular structure and be surprised. Nothing will move the dial more than the precinct and the people in it over the next 10 years. But it does take that long, which is required, of course, bipartisan support. And I do want to acknowledge Campbell and Lisa being in here today because they helped start this program, but particularly also Leanne and Grace for grabbing a hold of these programs and taking it to a new level. And we absolutely are delivering on all the promises. But, but the precinct is not going to do it on its own. All the government can do is give us this space we asked for it, we've got it, and now it's up to us to actually do something with it. And that requires great effort from everyone, a lot of giving, and we've got to attack our two soft spots. The two soft spots in Queensland are we need more investors that invest into this space. There are a number of groups that are here, but everybody else that isn't investing yet, start to back your fellow Queenslanders. You might get some nice upside surprises. The second piece is something that Steve alluded to around innovation and that inability to connect innovation with people's hearts and minds. So innovation, research, ideas, that's all one bucket. And that's an interesting bucket, but I'm telling you, we are not short of those things in Queensland. As Josh Lerner said, he's never seen a state with more R and less D. And that doesn't mean less R, that just means more D. So commercialisation, development, entrepreneurship, they're the keys to success for us in the future. And so our job as chief entrepreneur and the job of this precinct is to build those entrepreneurs and that's what we'll be doing. So thanks very much, Leanne and the team for our new home. Thanks to the government and thanks everyone for turning up today. Cheers.